Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello there, Scorpios. This month is the final month of having the lunar node of karma in your sign and the lunar node of fate in your sister sign, Taurus, where Jupiter is also hanging out, right? And where they've been shaking up all areas of your personal life, right? The lunar nodes move into Aries and Libra on July 17th on the day of the new moon in Cancer. And so that makes this month a big sort of karmic crossroad for the collective and you especially, right? Where the celestial bodies are urging you and all of us to do a big spiritual, energetic, financial, and career audit related to all the wisdom gained from challenges, pain, right, uh, gains and losses, and where these have been orchestrated by the cosmos to really teach lessons about sense of self-worth, true potential net worth, and relationships and relational dynamics that needed healing and transformation to truly honor us, right? And this month, we're tasked to ultimately balance that deeper work with all of the practical work responsibilities of life. And so I mentioned in the astrology forecast for the month that this month then is about the balancing act. But specific to what I'm seeing in your cards, Scorpio, the collective astrology did speak about second chances appearing for the collective to make empowered high conscious decisions this month as a sort of karmic test to see if we would respond and act from an enlightened and empowered place. And it seems that the divine is giving you this exact test this month related to choices you make in relationship and career contracts, right? So if you look at the cards here, if you're joining in on YouTube versus listening in on the podcast, definitely uh, if you are listening in, click on the link so that you can follow along with the beautiful spread of cards here and uh, see what it is that I am talking about. But for your overall energy, right, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Adversity card showing up for you, right? And we see this Knight of Pentacles essentially attempting to keep moving forward away from the adversity of the past, right? Where the color story of the cards here really indicate, you know, and and the readings that have been coming through for you all, right? Where they really indicate how past adversity was truly a test for you all to interrogate any power or control or attachment and relational dynamics that really need change, particularly trauma bonds, right? Or uh, old outdated beliefs, right? That were really unconsciously and subconsciously sort of informing your actions and the choices that you are making. And so I was picking up on a few different things for the Scorpio Collective um, that maybe has been happening and that may be uh, sort of lingering and maybe coming to a close for the Scorpio Collective. You know, scenarios like file, finalizing a divorce, uh, a relationship or a contract, right? Renegotiating the dynamics and terms of your romantic, familial, and even contractual professional relationships, right? Maybe having issues with uh, pregnancy, children, childbirth, uh, child custody battles, uh, divorces or severances with jobs and colleagues, right? All of these things where, you know, this night is kind of talking about rebuilding yourselves and your lives from accepting truths in Endings, right? And heading into the new possibilities. And what I am getting is that, you know, things have truly turned around for many of you. I'm seeing some of you having an increase in finances, maybe buying new assets like cars, homes, property, etc., uh, making new and different investments, whether that is in terms of the kinds of relationships uh, or opportunities you are entertaining as opposed to others. Um, but at the same time, this wheel of fortune is spinning around to see if you've really internalized the wisdom from the adversity in the recent past, right? And uh, we have the death card showing up here next to the Wheel of Fortune. And it's absolutely uh, talking about how 
you know, your ruling planet, you know, Pluto is also retrograde right now, in addition to Neptune and Saturn. And these planets being retrograde are what is essentially sort of informing this huge sort of collective audit, you know, this, or rather this, this energy of the big audit for the collective, uh, where for you, you know, Pluto is your ruling planet. Um, these are affecting your third and your fifth houses if you are Scorpio rising. Um, but generally for the Scorpio collective, it is about how you choose yourself, how you trust yourself, how you make decisions from a wise place, uh, and are empowered, you know, in negotiating in your best interests and communicating your points of view to others, right? It's about you teaching others how to treat you while you may also be involved in writing, healing, and teaching others professionally with what it is that you do for a living. And uh, related to other aspects of the astrology this month is definitely about how learning and teaching, education, uh, children, and travel figure centrally in your life this month. Um, definitely seeing that. And, you know, this month's astrology is, you know, bringing in, you know, these faded experiences connections, opportunities, offers, and maybe even apologies or promises to help you make informed decisions, right? And to help you assert your values, your prices, uh, and your self-worth, right? We have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Death, we have the Four of Wands here, where uh, we also have the Synchronicity in the Queen of Wands card here, right? So that is what this is talking about. And, um, yeah, it could it could even bring certain opportunities and people back around, <clears throat> excuse me, back around again as a sort of test uh, to see if you will choose wisely and differently. I'm getting that some of you make it offers to reconcile with people, maybe to relocate for a job while you may get a offer from a old job, right? Uh, maybe you're making choices about education uh, where what it is that you will be teaching or where you or a child will be educated, right? Maybe co-parenting arrangements, um, uh, decisions about vacations for the summer, things like that. But I'm definitely seeing that, you know, there's just so many different things. Like this video and comment below what choice points <laughs> and deja vu moments are happening for you this month. That is definitely, definitely it, right? And, you know, the spiritual messages are a warning, you know, not to make the same mistake again, you know, whether that's holding on to relationships or, or even things, you know, from a space of insecurity or greed, right? Where there are two sides of the same coin. Um, the lightning will strike it down again, right? That's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> um, and, also, you know, because the nodes of fate and karma are changing where the south node of karma in particular is going to be in your 12th house, you know, it's also about not holding on to grudges either, um, you know, and foregoing or foreclosing a dream, right? Um, you know, there's definitely a message here that anything you do related to spirituality and health and helping professions is still an important part of your path and, you know, will bless you as you bless others. But there's definitely a message here for you to, um, again, think about what the past has taught you about what your power, your potential, um, and certain sort of relational dynamics should be, right? And, uh, your worth, right? And just this question of how are you using the wisdom of adversity to build something new and to make better partnership choices that really honor you? And so when we look at the cards here, the adversity card here says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And then um, the synchronicity 
card here says our seemingly random coincidence is showing up in your life this card asks you to listen to the signs take them seriously you are tuning into the universal energy of a greater collective consciousness and these synchronicities are arriving in your world to guide you so definitely listen if you are at a sort of choice point this um month you will definitely be getting synchronicities that help you to make informed and empowered decisions, right? That's what the Wheel of Fortune and the Death and the Four of Wands card here is all about. And I'm going to read what these spiritual <laughs> lessons here mean for you, okay? The cards at the bottom here, we have the Witness, the Hunter, and the Lightning all in reverse as your spiritual lessons for the month, okay? So... With the witness card, it says, acknowledge your preconceptions, your ideas and feelings about the situation you are in, but resist the urge to change any of it. Do not fall back into your controlling patterns. Instead, take a few breaths and connect with the joy of not having to perform. Hold space for the world to keep spinning on its own. I'm also getting that for some of you, this is about uh your relationship to, you know, for any of you who are in the health or helping professions, it's about the level of involvement or attachment um, that you sort of operate within, within your sort of your job or even your professional networks, right? Um, if you are remaining in a particular job or professional network, um, or, you know, entering into new ones, right? But still where you have to sort of balance, you know, the sort of give and take um, and the level of involvement and the sort of toll that those these sorts of professions can have on one, right? Doing that kind of work that is related to compassion, empathy, and care. Um, and that sort of energy exchange, thinking about energetic boundaries, um, even tribalism, that's what I'm getting, right? Tribalism and like negative dynamics that can develop in certain circles, right? It's like the, everything that has been coming out in the cards with the Scorpio Collective has been about like, listen, no, you need to move away from a certain group of people. You need to um, definitely change the power in sort of relational dynamics in certain relationships um, and go your own way and take a leap of faith, right? And trust that your gifts, your talents, all of these things will continue to carry you forward even, at, even if you have to begin again with something, right? And so, um, yeah, yeah. So this says the witness, oh, wow. Um, okay. So I didn't even read this part, but it says the witness observes without engaging in any action. By cultivating inner stillness, we are able to assess any situation from a higher perspective and make better decisions. When we can be present for someone else's difficulties with stillness, then we are able to truly hear them and give better advice. Sometimes we can be so still that we are a mirror for the other. Then through our presence, they receive their own answers. Yeah, so I was like, I was quite literally like looking out of the window and just kind of channeling that um, without even reading this different paragraph. Um, cause related to these cards here, it's like, there's a, there's a, what I read you is related to the message when this card comes out in reverse. Um, and I just didn't even pay attention to what it says when it's upright, but <laughs> it was, I was channeling it, baby. Okay. It was channeling it. All right. Let's go on to the hunter card. So the hunter card here reads when it is in reverse. One second. It says, don't settle for the roadkill. It could be poison. Be careful that you do not become the prey of your desires and fantasies. Remember to not want more than you need so you are not guided by unbridled ambition. And then lightning. Life has gifted you with a destiny that is in alignment with your passion and in harmony with all existence on earth. 
Lightning has come to jolt you into accepting your destiny. Let this initiation release what is in the way of you fulfilling your life purpose. Otherwise, you'll be bound to your karmic fate. This is a time to be courageous and daring. Yes. All right, dear Scorpio. So that is your message. Um, so excited to see what uh, new energy is going to be coming in after the nodes switch signs, especially for you all. And I wish you the best this month. Definitely like this video, subscribe to UA Light Celestial Insight on YouTube and listen everywhere that you can access podcasts. And uh, yeah, definitely check out the uh, Eclipse Season Guide, the Eclipse Season Horoscope and Tarot Guide, because it definitely has uh, some astrology and tarot predictions already in alignment for the Aries and Libra lunar nodes, right? How they will be shaking up everyone's life the rest of 2023 through 2024. So they could absolutely be helpful. Um in terms of getting some insight on this new energy that is coming in and help with making um, maybe any decisions as you are at some choice points and maybe experiencing a bit of deja vu this month. All right, dear Scorpios, take good care of yourselves.